Once we have the foundations in, we're satisfied that they meet the design parameters, and that's when testing and verification and special inspection part of our work starts over. This morning, Manny's going to make cylinders for the concrete columns that go from the 11th to the 12th floor. And after each floor is placed, we also uh, verify that the post tensioning cables are, are stressed appropriately. Manny's our, our lead technician on the project. He's been handling it. How long have you been out here now? Uh, since September. All right, this is what we do. We get our sample, we bring it back to our testing area, we do our slump, air, temperature, and make our cylinders. On this one here in particular, it, what we did was we did a slump, three levels. We do not want to bump the slump. Rod it 25 times, strike it off, pull our cone up slowly, and then we'll measure with our tape measure. And this particular sample didn't meet our specifications, so we let the harbor know, and they end up sending the truck back. So what they have to do now is you order more concrete, and when that truck's come, we'll do the same thing to it, make sure that was inspected. And what we have here is our air test. We do it after we do our slump, measure the entrapped air inside the concrete. This, this mix here is supposed to be four to six. We do it the same way we do the slump. The only difference is we tap this each layer. Brought it 25 times, tap it 12 to 15 times. Each layer, that's the only difference. And then, once we finish, we'll put our lid on top of it and we'll put our air in it and just shoot through, get all the bubbles, the air bubbles out of the concrete, and then we'll pump it up to our initial reading. And then once we get there, we'll close our pet cocks. And so in this one, it was four to six, and it's actually 5.5, so it's within spec. That's good. All right, now what we're doing now is making our cylinders, which is the final step of the testing process. And we, these are our samples. We take to the office and we'll break, make sure they meet the required PSI. We break them at 7 and 28 days, and by 28 days, they have to reach the required PSI. Put our lid on it. We'll move it to our space that we're going to leave and let it cure. And once we do that, we'll let it cure, like I said, 24 to 48 hours. And we'll come pick it up, take it to our lab, and put it in a curing tank. And we'll let it sit for seven days, and then we'll break it and see what our PSI is on. All right, this concludes our field section of testing the concrete. Maybe next time I see you, I'll show you the fun part when we actually get to break these bad boys. Hey, my name's Emmanuel. I've been working for Building Earth two and a half years. Hey, welcome to Building Earth.